Hello, I'm Greg from Balloon Market, and today we are joined by Mark from Qualitex, Pioneer. Mark, thank you for coming in. Great to be here. And today, Mark is going to tell us a little bit more about this great piece of equipment that can really help you save time when you're inflating your balloons. So, Mark, over to you. Tell us a little bit about this. So, this is the uh, uh, Conwin uh, Duplicator 2. Mm -hmm. It's part of the Digitally Inflation range. Why is it called Duplicator? I think it's about duplicating your work consistently. Okay, makes sense. I'd oh. hope so. Somebody from Conwin needs yeah. to let us know whether that's right. Um, but I'm going to guess. That's a good guess. It is a good guess. It makes sense. Um, so what we've got here is a predominantly a, a machine that's designed for retail countertop work. Okay. Um, uh, one thing that happens a lot in retail is you have lots of different people uh, 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 working for you at different times. Yeah. Uh, so most retail shops, busy ones, you'll, you'll have a number of people all, all doing the same jobs at different times. Yeah. Uh, uh, and essentially, when we've been uh, educating and teaching, we always find that uh, teaching people to inflate and size and tie a latex balloon consistently is the hardest thing to teach them. You can teach yeah. them lots of difficult things to do, but actually just doing that really basic piece is hard to do. Yeah. Um, uh, so this is a, a piece of equipment we recommend that resolves that problem. Okay. So what you've got, um, uh, similar to its bigger brother, which is the dual split second sizer, you've got a digitally timed uh, uh, inflator mm -hmm. that allows you to uh, select in tenths of a second uh, how long it releases the uh, uh, gas for. Yeah. Um, you've got a uh, secondary stage regulator at the back, which allows you to uh, select the outlet pressure of the machine. So with those two things together, you, you can get a consistent size. Okay. Shall we, shall we just give it a go? So we've got a foot pedal attached to this one. Um, you don't have to use a foot pedal. So on this occasion, I'm not, but you've got a foot pedal. I'm not going to use that. I'll, I'll, I'll detach that and use the button on Ooh. the top. Okay. So you place your latex balloon on there. We've got 16 tenths of a second at the moment. Yeah. One press. And you get a perfectly sized 11. And you were looking at me while you were doing that. You yeah. knew that was going to be the perfect size. That's yeah. great. So very, very easy to do. So this is helium filled, uh, isn't it? This is helium filled. It can be used with uh, oxygen free nitrogen or okay. compressed air. Okay. Um, so that again is, is uh, a, 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 another simple uh, thing you can do just by changing the cylinder. Yeah, yeah. So what, are, what would be, when would you use air? When would you use um, nitrogen or oxygen, did you say? So helium is going to create lift for Obviously, the balloon. Yeah. Uh, there's no magic ribbon that, that no, holds it up, no. unfortunately. Um, uh, Oxygen-free nitrogen and air both will create work that inflates but stays down and, uh, and sits for, so for, that for air fill work. When you're making a sculpture. Sculpture, uh, bases, sculpture. things like that. Um, Oxygen-free nitrogen is um, better than air mm -hmm. in most circumstances because uh, it's not a mixture of all the gases that are in air. Yeah. So you get more consistent work, you get work that lasts longer uh, uh, and, and work that's less likely to oxidize because there's no oxygen in there. Ah, okay. Um, uh, so that's a, yeah, uh, that's a really useful thing. Okay. So that's every time you do that, that's going to fill up to the same size, the same amount of time. It's just going to be very consistent. What well, you want me to have a go? Yeah. Okay. So I just pull that down to about there. Is that okay? Yeah. As long as you sealed it with your fingers around the outside of the nozzle. And what I recommend you do is the balloon's going to inflate, but it's going to pop up. So okay. if you hold it that side, it leaves you to press the button okay. free on the other side. I did it. Really easy, really simple to do. Yeah, I did it. I'm going to try a mark knot. Look at that. Oh, I did that like a professional. <laughs> you won't need me. So, <laughs> um, uh, so what else we've we got with this uh, uh, machine? We've also got the ability to uh, inflate and size foil balloons. This is uh, one of our great 18 inch um, super fill balloons. And we're just going to Drop that on, pull that down. So this is the foil inflator nozzle, the one that cuts off yes. when it gets to the right pressure. So it's automatically like cut that. off. Can't put any more gas in. Uh, very, 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 very simple to do. So this one is nothing to do with the timing. That, no. that is just so the So you back imagine that with this machine, you've got two different halves of the machine. This one's the digital inflation for latex, and this side is the, the, the side for foil. Okay. 
So the other one you were talking about, the Twin Air, uh, dual split dual second sizer, second sizer um, that has two. That has two. I think what we should do is have a comparison video where we actually line them all up as well. That'd be really cool. I think we'll do that. Nice. Um, other accessories that come with this, if I turn this off at the at the gas, which you should always do because there's a positive pressure of yeah. gas in here, and then I release what's in the machine, I can then change at the back and add pieces to it. So um, although this works with the dual split second sizer, this 10 foot extension hose was really designed for retail shops mm -hmm. um, uh, to be added on to this machine. And most, although it's a, an additional cost and an extra item, this allows you to do a lot more with this machine. It's a great investment. So I'll just attach this to the back, just with the push fit connectors. So that's the gas then coming into here. Yes. And then it's going to this part rather than into the machine. It's actually going to both parts of the machine. Okay. So you could continue to use the machine as you normally would, but now this allows you to use all of your 10 foot extension attachments so that you can inflate uh, easily bubbles uh, and, and, and different elements like that. Yeah. So if you turn the gas back on, uh, we get positive pressure in our gauge. Yeah. You can normally feel the line actually get a little bit taut. Uh, and then we can open a pair of bubble. So this one will not be the auto cutoff. This one won't be the auto cutoff. So now it's just like having a, a separate piece of a 10 foot extension equipment. Yeah. And I can inflate this and keep inflating until it's full. Simple. Very, very easy to use. Yeah. And it gives you the ability to do organic and, uh, and other things where you, you don't necessarily want to have everything exactly the same size. Yeah. If you're inflating bigger balloons, we can inflate, in, inflate this away from the machine. Yeah. It just yeah. gives you all the flexibility uh, of other elements with the consistency of digital inflation. So of course the other thing you can do with this one is as you say add other attachments so you can have a normal flex tip on the end of there you can have the normal another one of these on there 60 40 mixer 60 40 mix etc yeah. yeah lots of op opportunities to do different things one thing that I would warn people against is uh, normally when this is uh, used on a cylinder it feels natural to hang it here, mm. which stops that being depressed in. Uh, just be careful not to leave it lying down because it's very easy to have seeping gas oh, uh, from right the I trigger see. touching the yeah. side because there's nowhere naturally. So you'd to suggest leave that. that you should hang it on something like my hand. Hang it on something, or actually, you know, you can remove it, and uh, yeah. uh, uh, and then you, you're not going to have an, uh, an issue with that. Um, uh, and obviously the foot pedal works, so if you wanted to, to do lots of fast repeated work, if you want to take this out of the retail environment uh, into a decoration environment, you can, you can do that as well. Yeah. So what's, what's this? Um, so as we described before, if I turn the gas back off uh, uh, and, and drain the system mm -hmm. uh, and remove our 10 foot extension, go back to what you'd actually receive uh, when unboxing the, the duplicator 2, at the moment, you'll have it attached in here a uh, steel BOC cylinder style threaded uh, 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 yeah. main inlet hose. Now on all uh, of those hoses, you, you actually get a, uh, a, a pressure gauge, yeah. which lets you know how much is in the tank. Okay. Uh, if you're using a BOC Genie cylinder, obviously that, that pressure gauge is built into the Genie. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's a digital gauge but you are working with a 300 bar um, cylinder. So mm. there's a much higher pressure than a normal 230 bar steel cylinder, yeah, yeah. which means you need a different regulator. So you couldn't just attach your normal hose to it. So BOC uh, uh, are the only people that can sell this to you, but there is a specific BOC hose, which you can buy, which allows you to use not just this piece of digital equipment, but all Conwin helium digital equipment. So this one is attached to a normal BLC cylinder. Yeah. This is basically if you've got a Genie cylinder. What about if you've got an air product cylinder? Uh, very similar. If you've got an air product cylinder, it actually looks like a double ended yeah. version of, uh, uh, so of you, that there. So you can get hold of those as well. You can get hold of those as well. Okay, great.
Um, other attachments that you've got, especially in that retail environment, uh, when you've got lots of people uh, high floating balloons, um, is a, a high float inflation swan neck, which is this beauty here. Before we talk about that, why is this so fat? So what you've got here is this is a, a, um, a noise reduction outlet. Ah, um, right, okay. So rather than just being a uh, something that's ergonomically designed to, to hold a balloon and let you inflate properly, you've also got inside there material, let the gas through, but reduce that shh, rushing noise. Um, really important for retail. I'm glad you mentioned yeah. that because it's really important in shops. If you've got this set at a higher pressure, you don't want that noise. Yeah. It scares people. Yeah. So to actually to dial that down uh, uh, and, and have a lower pressure at the back and have a, a more controlled inflation is, is a really good point. So you just mentioned something there. So you can control the pressure. It's not the, the raw pressure, if you like, coming out of the cylinder. Yep. So you've got a first stage regulator that's set to reduce it to a usable amount. Okay. And then after then, you've got a secondary stage regulator on the back, which controls the pressure that is released through here. Okay. So if you turn that down, well, what should we do somewhere? We'll, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll put the swan neck on. Okay. Um, uh, and we'll do a slower inflation with the swan neck. I'm going to have to guess the uh, uh, timing, but you'll, you'll, you'll see what will happen. So here's the swan neck. Now, the swan neck is obviously there for high floated balloons. So why, why would you have that for high float balloons? So if you were to have high floated balloons, lots of people use them, there is a chance that some of the high float will run down and block the nozzle. Oh, I see. So this would obviously stop that happening because so it's pushing down. Stop the so you can inflate just by, by putting onto there. Um, so if we connect this back up, mm -hmm. turn our helium on, and then if I reduce the pressure down. So the gauge at the back, you can see what the pressure is. Okay, so I've reduced that pressure down. I'm going to increase my time. I'm, I am guessing this slightly. Okay. So this could be interesting. Do I have to put my fingers in my ears? No. Okay. Um, so you remember how fast it inflated before? Yeah. Well, this time it's going to have a different speed. See, that's far less scary. If you are in a retail environment and you've got staff that may not be as confident as somebody that's doing it all the time, yeah. having it at a slightly lower pressure might make people feel more confident to, to do exactly. it. Exactly. So. And you can set this up, obviously we've, we've got this set up so it's in the middle of the table. Yeah. You normally set it up so the swan neck was, was over the end, yeah. so you're actually inflating yeah. down into the space in between you and the counter. Yeah, I see. Uh, okay. But that, that does, uh, especially when you've got lots of different people using the machine, it's great if you're using your own equipment and you're looking after it all the time, but if you're a business owner yeah. and you've got people coming in that do two or three hours a week, yeah. um, uh, this is a great way of making sure that they look after yeah. uh, look after it for you. And it gives you the consistency, that's the thing. And again, so it's consistent. Different people use it, but you still get the same consistent results. And what, what about this, this thing over here? What's this? Okay, so what we've got here is you might want to have your um, air-filled work and your helium-filled work uh, all, all set up from the same machine. Okay. So it gives you the ability to do that. Again, if I take the pressure out here and remove that at the back, now, imagine you were a nitrogen genie. I'm a nitrogen genie. <laughs> you enjoy that far too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're going to put that onto the nitrogen side. Okay. And we're going to put a helium onto the he helium side. And then we'll attach that at the back. Now we've got a choice to turn over to a nitrogen genie. Can, can you mix those? No. Okay. Um, so this will then pull gas from an oxygen cylinder uh -huh. and if I turn it over to this side it'll pull from our helium side um, uh, and, and that will mean that you can pull from from uh, two, two different outlets. What you have to be careful with is the gas that's in the machine at that time is still in there. So you should vent it before. So you have to purge through the line in between each time you turn it from one to the other. But again, in a retail environment, that means that you could have somebody filling a, filling a helium balloon one minute yep. and then creating a, a five inch base with air the next minute. Yeah. Excellent. Generally speaking, um, 
this works for the, the the professional that's using it themselves. Okay. It becomes normally too confusing. As I say, with lots of different retail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, 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 sometimes it's better to have a separate air machine to do that work. Okay. Um, uh, uh, and it also means you know when people are busy, you can have you can split roles and you can have somebody doing the helium side and somebody doing the air yeah, side. Yeah. But it is available uh, uh, if that's the setup that you want to work with. Okay, so let's, let's talk a little bit about the cost of this. This is not an inexpensive piece of kit, is it? Um, it's one of the least expensive digital uh, uh, pieces of equipment to work okay. with. Okay. But if you compare it to the cost of a very basic regulator, then you're right, it, 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 it's a bigger investment. But the, the big thing this is giving you, particularly over time, is time. Yeah, exactly. It saves a lot of time, and 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 that and that's the point. If you think about doing the activities you do using a sizing box, if you think about the um, potential cost of bursting balloons because you've overinflated them, or the cost of losing helium when you've overinflated and then let some down into yeah, the box, yeah, yeah. all of those things make a I real hope, difference, yeah. and they really make up. But the biggest thing is time. It is yeah. really super super quick to use, and anybody that's been in that retail environment knows on on saturday morning when you've come in early and you've got thousands of balloons to go out that day yeah this is your best friend yeah so at the moment at the time of filming is january 2018 this is 500 uh, 562 something okay. um uh so again plus fat yeah uh, uh so again it's uh, it, it, it is a it is a big investment so is it the sort of thing people would work for a little while first and then I used to say that I've changed my mind because yeah. uh, at the point of setting up a business, it's when you're most willing or when you're thinking most about what equipment you need and what you need to invest in to start the business. Yeah, yeah, Once mean. you've started rolling your business, it's a lot less likely that you're considering that because you're in it, you're working in the business. It's, the, it's one of those few times that you get to work on your business yeah. without having the pressures of doing the job. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it might be something somebody would want to invest in. We, I, honestly, I've, I, a lot of people that have invested in not just this, but all digital equipment on day one have, have been given the motivation to go out there and, and make it work for them. It's because they can do so much more yeah. and save that much time. Yeah. Okay, Mark, that is great. So in summary, it's you can do foil balloons, latex balloons, bubble balloons. You can use high float with them, with that, if you buy that extension there. Um, what else? You can use it with nitrogen, air, And it's consistently helium. sizing and duplicating the same inflation over and over again without you having to think about it. That's brilliant. Okay, Mark, thank you very much for that. Great. There you go.